All right, we're going to discuss a simple Briggs Intec wiring diagram. This is only for the Intec series, but I'm pretty sure the um, all the, the single cylinders and V twins are the same. Now these corresponding letters are going to vary depending on your key switch. I own my key switch out, so I know what every pole on my key switch does. But we're going to start with this this plug this gray wire with key on sends fire to your fuel solenoid so you, you're gonna have to ohm out your key switch when you turn the key on it gets fire to this fuel solenoid this black wire goes to the M on your key switch which means magneto that's a kill it grounds to kill this set of wires coming from your voltage regulator rectifier the red one with this big piece of shrink tubing on it that's a diode in there think of the diode as a one-way check valve it only lets electricity flow out and not in this wire goes direct to battery and this other black wire that is used for lights on a, on old style mowers the headlights ran straight straight to that wire which in my case I'm not you're not using that but it comes out as my blue wire. I can hook that straight to lights. And uh, my my key switch is a four position. I have um, let's see. I have run, and then I have run and accessory, and then I have start. So if I want to turn my lights on. Turn this switch on, and I turn the key back one notch, and that's lights on. And if I turn the engine off, it kills all the lights, whether I turn the switch on or off or not. It's just pretty simple. There's a custom project. I had to make a custom wire harness, and uh, I try to make it easy as possible. The start circuit from your key switch, which is labeled S, goes to your signal on your solenoid. My positive side of the solenoid, I run power to my key switch, which the, the power to it is the B terminal on the back of your ignition switch. B terminal is power from battery. G obviously is ground, which I have here. This runs to the back of my key switch to ground. So that sends power to your key switch. You have a hot and a ground. So with key on, it then sends fire to the L terminal. L terminal I have run into my fuel solenoid. And then also I have um, the Y terminal on my switch. See if you look here, I have an extra ground. And I have a Y terminal. I determine that the Y terminal gets power from the battery so I, I jump the the battery positive to the Y and that way in my third position when I turn the key back that sends power to the A terminal which is uh, running my lights and of course this ground M as we mentioned this means magneto which is kill which runs back to the black wire to ground your calls to kill your engine so you have power in on B, Y is optional, you may not have a Y. Power in on B and ground. So when you turn the key to the on position, you're, you're going to get power with key on. This is the run position to L. L runs to your fuel solenoid. And then when you turn to the start position, it transfers power not only to L, it maintains power in L, then it transfers to the S pole, which goes to the starter, which is your solenoid signal. And uh, again on the engine, red wire straight to battery. That's your charging circuit that charges your battery. If you want to run lights, you can run just, just lights off of this single black wire. Magneto, kill, fuel solenoid. Have to have fire for the engine to run. 
If you shut fire off, it shuts off your, your fuel supply. Simple.